Inside Xbox is here at Treyarch Studios, home to Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, previously, we showed you some of the bigger features, things like theater mode and wager matches and currency, but today we're going to get a little bit more detail, kind of go behind the scenes to some of the design decisions that Treyarch believes will make Black Ops the most refined, competitively balanced Call of Duty game to date. One of the great things about um, having such uh, um, a large community of players playing our game is that it isn't very difficult for us to hear when fans do not like something about our game or they do like something about our game. All we have to do is listen, and we are listening. So killstreaks uh, in Black Ops are uh, they're a little bit different. First of all, we listened to the community and uh, imp implemented that killstreaks don't uh, count towards each other killstreaks because there's a lot of complaints about how kind of the rich get richer and it becomes kind of a griefing mechanic and encourages people to camp and uh, that sort of thing. So we wanted to clean that up a little bit. Secondary to that is that we wanted to make killstreaks feel more interactive. We didn't want to just do the fire and forget kind of thing where you just hit the button and go because then there's no really risk reward there for the player. All of our killstreaks have some aspect of interactivity to them whether uh, it's the attack chopper picking a spot in the map where it goes and hovers. Uh, rather than just letting it go and, and circle around the map. With the mortar team, for example, you can pick three locations on the map and get a really fast targeted strike to those places. So the perk design philosophy is we want every perk to feel like it supports a, ga a specific gameplay style, so we want to kind of beef up this characterization of if I select a perk, this represents me and how I play the game. So for example, we have a perk called Hacker. Um, Hacker is similar to um, some of the perks in, in previous Call of Duty games where they let you see enemy deployed equipment in the world. The difference with Hacker is that uh, you actually can go up to enemy equipment now and hack it so that it turns to your team and uh, the guy who owns that piece of equipment won't know that you've done that. One of the big changes that we're making uh, in Black Ops multiplayer is that uh, your perk one slot is what determines what your character model is. For example, Flak Jacket is one of them. Flak Jacket decreases explosive damage, uh, so the character model is all beefed up. He's kind of you know, inspired by that bomb diffuser kind of guy with, uh, with the padding and, and extra elbow pads and knee pads and helmet. So you, you can tell from a distance at a glance that that guy has Flak Jacket as his, one of his perk one slot uh, selections. And uh, if you throw a grenade, he's, not gonna, he's probably not going to die from the grenade. A lot of suggestions made it in from the community, starting from you know those objective icons, the A and B icon, they'll fade away if you're about to blow over them, so no longer are they getting in your way when you're trying to shoot. Shotguns are primary weapons now again, so you know something like a shotgun is so lethal, it should behave like a shotgun, so it needs to be in that primary weapon slot. We have the uh, grid coordinates on the overhead map, so whether you pull up your pause menu or in the top left corner, so it's going to be very, very easy for you to call out exactly where action is happening. Instead of having to say, you know, oh, he's over by grandma's house, you can now say, oh yeah, he's in, he's in Quadro D, you know, 3. We take suggestions from all sorts of our sub-communities. Um, another one is this, this whole new core movement mechanic called diving to prone. So uh, it's, it's, something that, um, it's something that we found was very interesting. It's used best for evasive and defensive maneuvers, but uh, you know, it, it really, we, we needed to make sure we balanced that because we understand that drop shotting is a frustrating thing to some people. So we wanted to make sure that this thing wasn't going to be used aggressively to grief or to, to frustrate players. So, you know, there is sort of a recovery time after you land and you'll have to, you know, uh, take a half second to pull your gun back up. So um, it's actually a penalty if you try to use it as an offensive uh, maneuver. Little subtle things to the game that, uh, that I think the fans are really going to like. We hope you've enjoyed our in-depth look at what it takes to put together the multiplayer for a game like Call of Duty Black Ops. Thanks everyone for watching Inside Xbox. Fight harder.